Hi everyone, I'm so glad to have you here. I'm Nikki Baxley of Nikki Hearts Cards and this is my channel. I do lots of organization videos, I do lots of card making videos, so make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button before you go any further in this video. Today we're going to be looking at my craft room, specifically at how I store ink pads. I have been trying to come up with a system and really working on this video to show you lots of different ways that you can store your ink pads, both regular size and mini size. We're going to start with something as easy as using the packaging that they come in to store them, all the way to buying some different units that can fit inside IKEA units or can be hung on the wall. We have a lot of different options today and I want to take you through them all. So we'll also look briefly at storing our refills for our ink pads. That always becomes a problem because we have these little bottles that can spill and we need to store them in a certain way so that we're not creating a big inky mess. So let's get right into this video and I'll show you what I'm doing in my craft room to store my ink pads so that hopefully you'll get some ideas for your craft space. Let's go! Let's start with what I'm currently doing and then I'm going to show you a new product that's out there that I love. These are, are ink pad holders from Stamp and Storage and they fit inside my Calyx units. So they fit perfectly inside. Each one holds about 48 ink pads and I have five of them. I also have a larger unit on the top that holds um, a lot more and it's actually white. Stamp and Storage recently started giving you the option for white and so that one is my newer one that I got for Christmas. On this back wall here, this is where I have built-ins in this room um, that were here before I moved in. So what I did was sit my Alex units on top of kind of the bench part of that um, unit so that I could reach them better and it just fit perfectly to put three Alex drawer units right there. Then on top of the Alex drawer unit, units, I have used some computer risers. Some people use shoe shelves, but I've used some shelves there that are not attached and I've added them. I have this large desk in the middle that is a stand-up desk so I could lower it if I want but generally I do not keep a chair in here because I tend to stand when I'm crafting. In the front of my room I have a TV with a calyx unit underneath it. I'm trying out some new marker storage and I might briefly show that in this video but I will make an entire video on that organization later. So this is what the room looks like so you know and this is kind of where we started on my most recent craft room tour but I'm going to show you the updates and what I've done that I think is really interesting. Okay, the first new product that we're going to try out is called the Ink Pad Carousel. And this is from Stamp and Storage. And excuse my husband's hands in here, but he's going to help me put this together. It's called the Ink Pad Carousel for Distress because I'm going to use it for Distress Oxide and inks. It comes like this and it all fits together. You do need to use a little bit of glue, which they include in the package. And it probably, it really does help to have a couple of set of hands just to hold this together once you're first putting it together. But let me show you what it looks like. So the only place that you have to add glue is right here on the bottom and in the top. And you don't want to overdo that or this will squish out. You really don't need a whole lot. So just be careful how much you're putting in there. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like when it all spins around. Okay, and here it is. So this spins inside your cabinet, which is amazing, and it holds 96 inks. Let me show you how I'm going to replace these. So here's what I have currently holding my Distress Oxides, and these are great, but I feel like there's a lot of wasted space in that Calyx unit because it comes out and you've got all this space behind it. Now, sometimes I would store things back there, but I just realized that taking them out was a little bit of an ordeal, so I really think that this stamp um, storage carousel is going to save me so much space. Super important tip, put it inside the calyx unit while the glue is still wet because we had to put some pressure with our hands and kind of push down on the unit to make sure it fit and I don't think I would have put that extra pressure because I would just assume that it fits. So you need to make sure everything's tight and it's perfectly designed to fit in here, but you've got to make sure you got it right. So make sure that you do that. Then I'm going to show you just kind of a quick montage of putting all these inks in here because it's just so fun to watch a rainbow. So this is going to be on my list of highly recommend products. This thing holds 96 inks, which is going to take care of all the Distress inks that I own and Distress Oxides. I don't have a ton of Distress inks, but two of these other Stamp and Storage units that I had previously hold the same amount. So it takes up two of my cubbies and I get it all down into one. 
really I was able to move three of these Distress ink pad holders because I have a separate one and see how I have so many empty spaces in them. I have a separate one for my Distress inks. So I was able to fit everything that I own into this one carousel, which opens up two more units in my Calyx for other storage. So I'm gonna show you a couple of ideas for the ink refill storage. Okay, this is how it started, getting all these ink refills for Catherine Pooler and just throwing them in an Alex drawer. I at least kept them in their plastic bags so hopefully they wouldn't leak, but let me show you a much better option. My first idea for storing ink refills is this grid caddy, and it's from Stampin' Storage as well. It's really interesting because not only does it hold a lot, it fits perfectly inside a Calyx unit and it stacks. So I'm going to show you how these stack to fit and how many you can fit in one cube of your IKEA Calyx unit. So what I've done with mine is I only have four of them and I have two of the one inches, those are on the far sides, and then the middle are the one and a fourth inches, so a little bit bigger. I don't really need those, but I didn't know what size I needed, so I've got both. But this actually fits perfectly in this Calyx unit. You see you can fit a one inch, a one and a quarter inch, and a one inch right there. And they go across the bottom and then you can continue to stack. So these are very long, they have this, bigger one right here holds 33 the other ones that are smaller hold 36 um, with plenty of room so you could put spray bottles all kinds of things but you see i've got them stacked here with plenty of room i really think i could stack them at least three tall so we could fit a ton of inks in here and they all stack on each other and then you can just slide them out like this one day i will probably paint the ends and decorate them but right now i just stuck the picture um, on there of what it was that it was Catherine pool and it was Catherine Pooler inks and this actual bottom one does not have a label because I don't have anything in it yet um, because I don't have that many refills but it just is really easy and a great way to keep up with these if you need to be able to see them I also have some other ideas for just putting them in a drawer um, and I've got a stadium organizer I'm going to show you so I think the max that you could get in this um, Calyx unit here would be 315 bottles. That's three of them stacked up. They clip together very easily, so they do stay together. And they're made out of um, wood, so they are sturdy. Let me show you something um, that I've also used that can be found on Amazon. This is another way that you could do them. I've got my Nuvo drops and some sprays in this right now, but it's called a stadium organizer and you can get them at Amazon. One of these, it's a seven tier, will fit in a Calyx unit. You just can't have your last level of it being very tall. If it was ink refill bottles, it would fit, but the sprays are just slightly too tall with that seven, but they sell them in five tiers, all kinds of things. And I will link these in the description. They're definitely in my Amazon store. The other way that I've stored them is just by getting little containers and putting them in drawers. So this is just kind of a plastic container that I've got. The reason I put them in there is to try to keep them from spilling. I haven't had any of my ink refills spill laying on their side like this. I can't promise that wouldn't happen, but I've got some cute little baskets and things that can fit in the Alex drawer and I will link those for you as well. But that's another option if you don't have the space above the drawers or you don't have um, space where they can be visible. I do love looking at rainbow colors, so I like having mine visible if at all possible. All right, so here is the new and improved Calyx unit. This is with the carousel, so the stamp pad carousels over there. It also has those grid caddies with the ink refills, and I've removed some of the other stamp ink holders and just put the extra ones behind the ones that have ink in them in case I need them later. I also will probably be sponsoring a giveaway soon with one of those units. So make sure you stay tuned and hit the like and subscribe on the channel. Now we're gonna look at mini ink pads and um, these I have previously stored in drawers. So I'm gonna show you, I usually store them in an Alex drawer like this. I did put some kind of rubbery material like um, shelf liner down here just so they don't slide too much but it was getting to be where I had too many of them and I just wanted it to be more organized and visually appealing so I'm going to show you what product I found that I love 
So I'm going to take you through how I store mini ink pads, but I'm also, I have two different ways to do this. One that I made myself and one that I'm using this cool mini ink tray um, from Organize More. And I've got to give a shout out to Organize More. This is my first time trying their products. I really love them. And they're made in Tennessee, which is where I am. So very exciting. So I had been storing my Altenew inks together in their color families like this with all of this plastic packaging, which takes up a lot of room, but I wanted to keep the colors together. So what I decided to do is to add them in their color families to these trays. And of course, I'm going to show you how these trays fit in the Alex drawer. And I'm also going to show you what inks I put in them so that you can see what types of things you have that will fit. I did not own a mini ink that doesn't fit in this tray. I've got Altenew, Gina K, Pink Fresh, Simon Says Stamp, and then after I loaded these up with all my mini inks and the Distress inks, um, I decided I would see what about the Catherine Pooler inks. I love Catherine Pooler mini inks, so I will show you how they fit. They fit a little bit different in this tray than the others. The other thing I like about these trays is that you can buy them in packs of three and get a little bit of a discount. So I did buy myself three of them. And here's what it looks filled up with all my Altenew inks. It does stack. So I'm gonna show you this in the drawer, but they stack on top of each other. It's not necessarily like a ledge that holds them there, but they stack and hold perfectly fine. I'm not really sure how they do that because it doesn't have to attach to the other one, but it is nice that it stacks because it fits really well in an Alex drawer. And the ink pads can turn if you want them to be in your drawer a different way you can turn them this way that's perfectly fine it fits the same amount just so you know and just that one tray saved me all of this plastic packaging to store so it really does help maximize your space okay let me show you how these fit in alex drawers and the different configurations that you can do so these are my alex drawers and i had one drawer just crammed full of inks i've got a whole nother drawer that has um, the Catherine pooler mini inks so you know there's different sizes so the bottom three drawers are a little bit bigger than the top two so i'm going to show you the difference in fitting these ink pads in there they fit perfectly fine in the skinnier drawers which makes me very happy because i like to save those thicker drawers at the bottom bottom for things that are taller. So I put them in the skinniest drawer and you can fit two across and you could stack on top of each other and it still closes as long as it's these mini ones. Um, if they stick up too much or if they're a bigger ink pad that you fit in there, it's not gonna fit. But these move in and out pretty easily. I've got them stuck in my drawer um, and I can see most of the inks. You know, in Alex drawer, there's a little bit of a blind spot at the back, but you can grab the whole tray pretty easily and pull it out if you need to just see what all you have in that ink pad. To stack them, you can't just go right in this long ways like this because you don't have any bend here to get that one back in. So you need to kind of come from the side, but it does fit. Okay, here's how it looks. So two stack perfectly fine with the drawer closing. Now let's look at putting them a different direction here. Okay, if we put these more in a horizontal um, axis, you still can of course stack them, but let me show you how much room you have in the drawer. This is the way I would do it if I was going to store my Catherine Pooler mini inks in these um, because the Catherine Pooler mini inks, the writing is facing me. So I would do it this way. You could do it the other way, but I just like to see the names and they fit in these ink holders great. Um, they do stick up just a little bit higher. So just make sure when you're stacking, they stick up just a little bit higher than a regular mini ink pad, but you can fit five. So it definitely holds less in this container than if you had the regular mini ink pads, but perfectly fine, holds five, so um, in each row, and this thing has six rows, so you could get a few in here. Um, you can definitely get more if they're just the little mini ink pads, no big deal. I like storing my Catherine Pooler mini ink pads with kind of a homemade way. I use their original packaging and I've made some labels and dividers and some fun ways to swatch them. So I'm going to show you my drawer that I use for my um, Catherine Pooler and I'm going to show you these things that I've made for them. So you could also stick Catherine Pooler inks like this. I prefer to use one specific drawer for my Catherine Pooler inks. So I'm going to show you how I do that.
Now you'll notice these are in their original containers. I like to keep them in their collections and they sell these things individually now. So you can buy the containers if you want to use these, just store your inks. But you see, I've made these label sets that fit in the back and I'm gonna show you how I did those and what they involve because it's very easy to compare your colors and decide if you're gonna use that set or not. So here's kind of a picture up close. I created the swatches on the back and they just slide in the plastic there. So I'm going to show you the measurements and we'll go through doing one of these so that you can see how to create this organizational hack yourself. Started with some cardstock, just white cardstock, and it's the regular eight and a half by eleven. I went on and cut it in half because I thought five and a half would fit in the back. Okay, it's right at five and a half is its width, but I end up going on and cutting just a little bit more off and making it five and an eighth because it just barely doesn't fit. Look at this. I want it to be able to slide in and out easily and barely, barely. So I went on and cut it to five and one eighth. Now I'm cutting to seven and I'm gonna keep this little extra piece cause it's gonna be the tag that we use. Let me show you how that looks here. So when we take this little tag, I'm going to glue it onto this, um, actually probably using double-sided adhesive, and I'm gonna put its name up top and that also helps us be able to grab it from the back and pull it out. And I'm just gonna place it so that it has enough room, depending on your label maker, cause I'm gonna use a label maker to label these, how thick those um, labels are. Just make sure you have enough room for your label to fit on the top. I know about how um, tall mine are and I'm using my grid map to measure right there and just did approximate center there. It's pretty easy to find the center on a grid map. So did that. Now we've got our wonderful looking thing here. Let's make some swatches and show you how I did this. My favorite way to do this is to swipe the ink and stamp the ink. And the reason is because I do both of these techniques with Katherine Pooler and it's a slightly different color and coverage. So I wanted to make sure I've got both of those there. So I'm gonna stamp one area and I'm gonna swipe one area and then we'll go back and label all of these. Okay, next I'm gonna use some clear label paper and just type out all of the labels for the colors and put them on the piece of paper. I put the collection name on the top tab so that I'll know which one it goes in. And I had just a little extra, so if you got more than what you needed, just trim it off. Just make sure you can see your writing. And then I took all of the little clear labels for individual colors and put them on here. And once that's finished, here's how it works. It slides in this back pouch right here and it fits perfectly and you can pull it in and out. I did decide to add a label to the other side of it as well. I like to leave it so I can just flip this over and look if I want, but I did go ahead and la add another label to this side in case I put it in backwards. Okay, so here's how this organization hack works. You've got your nice little box here, original packaging, and you've got all your swatches now. You can just slide them in the back. You have a tab that tells you exactly which collection that goes with, and I did label it on both sides so that you could see it. And if you wanna pull it out and compare colors with other sets, you've got it right there. It's a very easy way to organize your swatches, and I think that it's a great organizational hack. Okay, I wanna go back over everything we talked about today and just kinda of give you the names. Of course, everything will be in the description and there will be links there. Those links are affiliate links. They do help support me, so I really appreciate it. This is the Distress Stamp Carousel from Stamp and & Storage, and it is amazing. I definitely, It's definitely a splurge. I believe it's about $100, but it holds 96 inks, and I am super impressed with how it fits in my Calyx unit. It is very, very worth it. Um, I am probably going to get more of these because I just love how this really takes advantage of the space in this unit. So great thing if you're needing more space and you've got too many ink pads, it also stores your ink pads in the right direction so that they're not leaking, they're stored flat like they're supposed to be. It's just great. So this was our first thing that we went over. Let me show you the next options. Then we looked at these grid caddies that hold your ink refills. So these are also from Stamp and Storage. And um, we looked at those, we put those in a Calyx unit as well. The other thing we talked about for ink storage was using a stadium stand like this. These are from Amazon and I will link them. This is a seven tiered one and that will fit in a Calyx unit, like I said, as long as you don't have something really tall on your top shelf. So those are good options as well, or they're just good to sit out on a counter because they look so pretty. 
Then we talked about ways to store these mini inks with these cool mini ink trays from Organize More. Um, I really love those. Gonna have to get some more of those as well. And let me take you on a quick spin of the rest of the craft room just so you can kind of see what I have in here. Now make sure that you catch my full craft room tour that is on my channel. I have lots of in-depth information about paper storage and stamp and die storage. All of those things are on my channel. I will be continuing to create craft room videos. I actually have one coming up about marker storage and paper storage. So just stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed and you hit like um, and notifications on my channel and I will do craft room videos. Usually every couple of months I'll put out one of these. These are longer and um, a little bit more in depth than some of my card making videos. So it takes a while to get these filmed. So I do put them out as fast as I can and I'm constantly reorganizing and trying new things to make my craft room work the best that it can so that I've got more time to do fun things like crafts. Quick, show you some quick pictures. This is the before picture before I added the extra units. Um, these are the Alex units in the back of the room and then this is my other Calyx unit. Remember I have full craft room tour videos on my channel. Those are my most popular videos so make sure you check those out for even more details. Today I just really wanted to talk to you about the ink pad storage and some new things that I'm doing in my craft room that I'm super excited about. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe on my channel. I would love to have you back here again and if you're shopping today make sure to go through those links in the description. That helps support my channel. I hope that you have a great day and I think you'd enjoy this video. Bye!